we need to talk about scarves. <laughs> so I just watched a video from a by Alana. If you don't know who Alana is, I did a collaboration with her last week. I was talking about BP Doo. She has a YouTube channel, Mental Health of Alana and That Grunge Girl. She had a video taken down because of self-harm scars. And I wanted this to take a minute to talk about the scars. The thing is, when you have a mental illness, hurting yourself seems like an option. Because it's a way of minimising pain. And it's a way of making yourself feel like you're alive. When you feel numb, it just makes you feel something. I've self-harmed in the past. I actually, today, I'm a month and seven days clean from self-harm. Scars are a part of our body. We can't do anything about them. We can't get rid of them. If I could get rid of all my scars on my body, I would in a heartbeat. My arm has a massive scar that like, runs down it from when I try to kill myself. When it comes to self-harm and suicide, we don't mean for things to happen. We don't do it for attention. We don't do it because we want to do it. We do it because it feels like something we have to do. So we can't get rid of scars. They're a part of our body. That's something that we have to live with. And we judged for it they ate today. I walked down the street with short sleeves on and people stare of my arms. I know what they're looking at and it just starts to get to you. So when YouTube took down Alana's video, they basically sent a message saying don't wear, don't have scars, which is so wrong on so many levels. Instagram are the same, they take down pictures of people's scars all the time. Now I've had videos taken down in the past because of self-harm scars. The last two videos I've done on self-harm haven't been taken down by YouTube and they are fully monetized. I don't know if the video is going to be an exception to that because I've mentioned suicide and self-harm. <laughs> It might be demonetized. I think it's so wrong that they took down Alana's video. Now I didn't see the video when it was up, I was asleep. Because if you don't know, Alana's in Australia. So there's a bit of a time difference. Scars are a, are a consequence of a symptom of mental illness and shouldn't be judged by YouTube or Instagram. It's not like we're showing fresh self harm. If it was fresh self harm, I might completely understand it of taking stuff down and blocking it and take the same no to it. I didn't understand that. But they don't. And that's the thing that bothers me. You see photos of fresh self harm all the time on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube, you see it. But when you show scars, they get taken down. It just seems a bit wrong. This is a bonus video for the week. This isn't my Friday video. But I want to ask a question. Have you ever had something taken down because of scars? If you have, leave a comment down below because I'm very interested in hearing your story and how you dealt with it. So yeah, let me know your thought on this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. If you're new, subscribe, join the growing family and that's it. Peace.